Bookmarks are more than just placeholders. They can carry meaning, emotions, and little reminders that stay with us as we read. Hey everyone, this is Ria from Twin Paper Studio. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I double side print bookmarks using Silhouette Studio from designing in Procreate to printing, laminating, and cutting. Before we get started, here's everything you'll need. First, let's start with the design. I'll be using my iPad Pro and Apple Pencil with Procreate, but you can use any medium you prefer, whether it's a Photoshop, Canva, or even traditional hand-drawn designs. You'll also need a printer and high-quality paper to get the best results. For printing and alignment, I'll be using Silhouette Studio. Then, to make the bookmarks more durable, I'll be laminating them with a laminator and laminating sheets. Finally, for clean edges, you'll need a cutter and a round corner, and of course, tassels to add that final touch. I start by creating an A4 size canvas at 300 dpi in Procreate. To make the bookmark template, I first set up a 2x6 inch rectangle. Since I want precise measurements, I use Procreate's drawing guide. To do this, go to the Actions menu, tap Canvas, and turn on Drawing Guide. Then, tap Edit Drawing Guide and adjust the grid size to 1 inch. If you're working at 300 dpi, you can set it to 300 pixels so each square represents 1 inch. This makes it easy to count and create the correct dimensions. Tap on the S icon to open the Selection tool and choose Rectangle. Then, using the 1 inch grid as a guide, count 2 inches wide and 6 inches tall to create the correct bookmark size. Next, I drop in my background color and add my artwork. By making the bookmark template directly inside the A4 canvas and inserting my artwork here, I don't lose any quality. This way, my designs stay crisp and clear when printed. I originally drew this girl along with other elements from my sticker sheet, Pretty in Purple. I love how she turned out so I thought of using her for a bookmark focused on self-love and a reminder that you are enough. The soft purple tones and gentle expression fit perfectly with this theme. I chose this coat, you are enough just as you are and always have been. It's a simple yet powerful reminder to embrace yourself fully. For the font, I decided to use Dancing Script from Google Fonts because it has this elegant and timeless charm that complements the message of self-love. Take your time to lay out your designs carefully. A well-balanced layout makes a huge difference in the final look of your bookmark. Play around with text placement, artwork positioning, and spacing until you're happy with it. Now that my design has been laid out according to my liking, I need to remove any excess artwork outside the bookmark template. To do this, I tap on the layer and select Clipping Mask. This clips the artwork to fit perfectly within the bookmark shape without permanently erasing anything. Now that my design is complete, I'm ready to export the bookmark template as a PNG. Before exporting, I make sure to remove the background layer and I'll send the file to my iMac so I can align and print it using Silhouette Studio. Now let's move on to the second design. This is one of my favorite artworks that I've created. When I drew this old couple, it reminded me of how beautiful it is to grow old and gray with your true love. And honestly, isn't that something we all hope for? I'm using the same bookmark template but I'll be changing the background color later to better match the artwork.
In Silhouette Studio, I adjust the size slightly to leave a small margin for cutting. Then, I duplicate the bookmarks to fit 4 on an A4 sheet. You can duplicate up to 5 bookmarks, but it really depends on your preference. Since I want to leave enough space between each bookmark to avoid cutting issues, I usually place 4 per sheet for better accuracy. So this is the front portion of the bookmark. We'll do a test print first to make sure everything is positioned correctly before committing to the final print. The test print looks good to me. Now we need to flip the paper to the right so we can print the back portion. I also want to display my business logo on the back of the bookmark so I'll be adding it here as well. I'll place it at the bottom to keep the design clean and minimal. Now this is the most important step. You need to flip each design including the logo horizontally one by one. This ensures that when we print the back portion, it aligns correctly with the front. If you're using a different design for the back, all you need to do is copy and paste it, then flip it horizontally. After that, just drag it in front of the front design and you'll notice the blue alignment line will help you position it correctly. Once everything is aligned, don't forget to save the file for both the front and back designs. Once everything is flipped, there's one more step. You also need to click flip horizontally in the printer settings before hitting print. There's a slight misalignment but this is completely normal since the paper may have shifted slightly while printing. It's nothing to worry about, we can fix it later when cutting. For my paper, I'm using Coif calling card paper, which is a type of cardstock at 250 GSM. It's sturdy enough for bookmarks and once laminated, it gives a nice professional finish. This is the front portion, so make sure that flip horizontally is not checked. This is the back portion, so ensure that flip horizontally is checked. For laminating, I use an A3 laminating sheet, but since my paper is A4, I cut it in half. This gives me one pouch and one separate sheet. I used a separate sheet for this project. I trimmed the bookmark sheet just a little so it fits nicely into the laminating film. I'm using this laminator brand called Sun Yi. It's not that expensive but it gets the job done. I set it to hot mode and let it preheat. While laminating, I assist the machine by gently guiding the sheet to prevent bending. I always laminate twice to make sure everything is sealed properly. I like to pre-cut each bookmark before laminating. This makes it easier to cut later and helps me get cleaner edges. To make the bookmarks look more polished, I use a corner rounder and round each side. 
I flip the corner rounder upside down so I can see exactly where the edge is, making it easier to get a precise cut. Now, for the final touch, I add a tassel to each bookmark, making them extra special. In my last video, I got a lot of comments saying that laminating close to the edge and not leaving any bleed can cause bookmark to fall apart easily. However, I personally haven't had any issues with mine. I think it really depends on the materials you use from the paper, laminating sheets, and even the laminator itself. And that's it, that's how I double side print my bookmarks using Silhouette Studio. If you don't have Silhouette Studio, you can also use other apps like Canva, Procreate, or Photoshop for double sided printing. I just personally find Silhouette Studio the easiest for aligning my designs. These bookmarks are also my little way of celebrating Valentine's Day, not just for romantic love, but for all kinds of love self love, lifelong love, and a simple joy of reading. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more creative content. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in these bookmarks, you can also find them in my Etsy shop. I will leave the link below. Thank you so much for watching and happy Valentine's Day!